Hi, I'm Freddie DeMarco for Black Star Potential, and this lesson will be on recording through USB. So if you have a Black Star amp that has a USB connectivity, like the ID Series amplifiers do, you can actually download the software. It's called the Insider Software, so you can download from the website for free. And with that software, you can do all kinds of deep editing, file management, but what's really cool is you can do direct recording right into a software program. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now that you've downloaded the software, simply launch the software on your computer, and then hook up a USB cable from the amp to the computer, and then turn on the amp, and you'll notice that the amp will be initialized and it will perform any updates to the amplifier. You know, the software connects with it. So now I could turn knobs on the amp and it will reflect what's going on in the software. But what I'm really going to want to do is use the software, you know, keep the amp out of the way and it's very convenient just to adjust things. I could turn on and off the delay, adjust the phaser, adjust the reverb, choose different effects, what have you, and all this is accessible to be recorded. So essentially, I'm going to GarageBand, but the first thing you want to do is go to Preferences and make sure that you have selected ID Core Amplifier. I'm making my output the built-in output, but you could also select the output to be uh, going right through the amplifier. So it's real easy to hook up, just a step or two process there, and uh, you're good to record. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record because I have a track armed and uh, it recognizes it coming from the input, from the, you know, the driver. And as I'm recording, so we could hear it, I'll make some adjustments inside the software. So, arming record and playing. <laughs> Now notice in the software, I'll make some moves. I'll turn on and off the effect. Put back the reverb. Add the delay back. Make the delay tap. I could tap tempo a little slower. Let's check the phaser. Okay, we'll look over here at GarageBand and listen to what we've done. So it's actually working, so it's that easy to record. So this would work really great with multi-track recording or just to record to a backing track to work on your phrasing. Um, but regardless, the whole idea is that the ID amplifiers work really well with the PCs and with the Macintosh computers to get direct recording right into a DAW system. Thanks for joining me for this lesson on USB recording.